Thanks for joining us for Christmas at Home. You'll need a Bible and elements to take communion for today's service, which is all about Jesus and how he came to the world as a baby to save us all. We'll sing a few songs together and hear about his story. You'll get the opportunity to read about Jesus' birth in Luke 2, and you'll take communion to celebrate his life. Click the link in the video's description for more guidance on how to take communion. Again, we just are so glad that you're joining us for Christmas at Home. Let's sing together.
Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for letting us be here together today, be with families, friends, and each other's living rooms. God, we're thankful that we get to, to celebrate Christmas together. God, we're thankful that we get to be able to join uh, wherever people might be this week, wherever they might be celebrating from, that we're able to be there with them, and that we're able to have your presence with us. Lord, we're thank you, thankful for you being Emmanuel, God, with us this Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Merry Christmas. And my name is Aaron. It's my wife, Jessica. And we want to say thank you so much for letting, letting us invade your living room uh, for the greatest story ever told. Yeah, Christmas is truly the greatest story ever told. And it's true. The story happened over 2,000 years ago. The story involved a lot of things. It involved a young man named Joseph. It involved a teenager named Mary. It also involved a donkey, a flock of sheep, some shepherds, some magi, or also known as the wise men. Uh, it, it involved presents, and who doesn't like presents? It involved a crazy king named Herod. It involved a really bright star and a little town called Byers. Or maybe Bethlehem. I don't know. Bethlehem. And of all these things that we've made Christmas out to be over the years, decades, and centuries, it really is about the greatest story ever told. So as we take a moment today, as we gather today, I want you to check out this video as we celebrate the greatest story ever told. Hillary, what's a census? It's when you count how many people are living somewhere. Oh, why didn't Caesar want one? Uh, you mean Caesar? Do you understand the story of Jesus' birth? A little. Well, this is the story of Christmas. See, before the census, there was a girl named Mary, probably a little older than me. And one day, an angel came to her and said that she could give birth to a boy named Jesus. And that is what Christmas is all about. See, Jesus wasn't an ordinary baby. He was God's son, sent to earth to save the world. Just wait, I'll show you. Hey, hello. Sam, take this. So, here's what Christmas is really all about. You're Joseph. Meg, you're Mary. You guys have to pretend to travel to Bethlehem because Caesar Augustus wants to count how many people are from the town of Bethlehem. Meg, since you're Mary, you have a baby in your tummy. No, I don't. Mommy, I need you to come here. Sweetie, can I come later? I'm busy. I need you to come here now. It's an emergency. Emergency? What's the emergency? You're the only one with a baby in your tummy. Meg, what are you doing? Mom said the baby's your fault, so you should probably be Joseph. So they get to Bethlehem, but they suddenly realize that Mary is going to have the baby. So they have to hurry and find somewhere to stay. They tried to find an inn to stay at. That's kind of like a hotel. But the manager was kind of grumpy and wouldn't let them in. So they found a barn to stay in. Wait a minute. Something's missing. Oh, okay, okay. There were shepherds close by watching their sheep when suddenly an angel appeared to them and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. So the shepherds hurried to meet baby Jesus. When they finally found Jesus, he was in a manger, which I think is something that horses eat out of. So Mary treasured up all of these things. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Sweet dreams.
I hope that you enjoyed that video. As we celebrate the greatest story ever told, Christmas, we want to pass the service on to you. Yeah, we want you to read Luke 2 with the people that you've gathered together, the whole Christmas story. You can have one person read the whole story at a time or have another person read a couple of verses and go throughout, but we want you to read the Christmas story together. Once you're finished reading the story, there are a few questions for you to discuss. So press pause until you finish the reading of Luke chapter 2, and when you press play, you'll see some discussion questions on the screen. questions. Let's take some time together to take communion together, to celebrate what Jesus did for us when he came to the earth. He rescued us. He came to be with us. He is God with us. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We hope to see you on January 3rd.